Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. It's your day to Dave. I'm back again to do another beer review. And we're going to do this. And every time I say this, when I've got this spinner on, I'm going to do this beer. It's always on the back label. <coughs> but we're going to do this. And this is Chime. And this is their Chappelle. This comes in at 8%. It's a 330ml bottle. And I got this out of Morrison's. Cafe going downstairs. I've not done this before, strangely, in all the uh, time I've been doing beer reviews. I've just not got around to doing any of this one. I haven't done the white, this one. I haven't done the blue, I haven't done the red. Um, there is the cap, for those of you who are interested. Don't have a TMA glass, which is a bit of a shame. I um, see anything that you need to know about it, it says here. Uh, Chimmy's strong blonde ale. With a fruity and spicy, spicy taste balanced by a bitterness. Um... Business aroma of the hop, or the business and aroma of the hop. The uh, the Trappist Lowe's certifies that this is a is his booth in a Trappist Abbey, and that the majority of the sales income um, is intended for social aid. Be cement in the bottle. Okay, do um, best before this one is March twenty seven. It's at the bottom corner. Down there somewhere. Right, let's get stuck into this and see what we've uh, see what we've got. Nice bit of nice bit of gun smoke coming off that, so it's still going. So I say don't let you make glass so again I'm using my uh, my Grimberger chalice. I'll pull this gently. That. So, being last, what have we got? We've got ourselves a one finger. I think that is a bright white head, don't you? Beer itself is a hazy a gold colour. Put some light through, see what happens. It illuminates quite nicely. You get a nice little uh, illumination. Um, so, yeah, it looks good. It's a hazy, it's a hazy orange colour, hazy deep gold colour. Fantastic to me. Let's get the old nose, see what we can smell, shall we? Cheers. Oh, excellent. That's that classic, funky, banana-y, yeasty. Oh, yeah. That's, that's you, you're exactly what you would associate with a, with a Belgian beer. Yeah, it smells good. A bit malty there as well. Uh, like a biscuity, biscuity bready malt. Lovely stuff. Right, let's go to the budget carbonation. Cheers, my dears. Ooh, I like the, I like the carbonation on that. So, body, I would say that is that's light, light body. It does leave the part of the roof of your mouth dry. Carbonation is short, sharp, fizzy bubbles. I am so light carb, but it is it just goes and then gone. Fizz gone. I am, that is a lovely, lovely mouthfeel. So let's go for the big taste, shall we? Cheers everybody. It's really nice. It's excellent. So it's a Trappist beer. Um, it's going to be quality. They usually are Trappist beers. Certainly the ones I've had in the past have been. Um, yes, it's lovely. So, what have you got? Well, again, we've got that, again, banana-y, yeasty, funky taste to it. You know it's a Belgian beer that you're drinking. There's a little bit of a, like, a, like a white peppery spiciness to it. For me, it's also there a little hint of, of, of a fruit. Um, maybe it's a bit of, bit of orange peel. I, I, it may not be, you know, it may be something else. There's a really light hint of sort of jamminess to it. A sweet, it's just, I say it just balances the malty, it's a caramel malt. 
there's bready biscuits in Malta. There's a sweet sweetness to that, and it's lovely. It's just there in the background. Back end, it's just lightly dried. I, um, yeah, it's really really good. As I said when I was reviewing the um, the Castile, I'm starting really getting into these. I'm really enjoying these at the minute. Um, everyone's a little, a little bit different, you know. Um, so yes, this is another good quality one. Again, I've got to get the red and I've got to get the blue now as well. Um, I'm not pretty sure there's another one. I'm sure there's four. No, there's three definitely, but I'm pretty sure there's another one. And I'm pretty sure I've seen this in a great big bottle as well. In fact, I have. I think Barton's did it in a massive, and I'm talking a massive bottle, kind of huge thing uh, last Christmas. But anyway, I digress. So, Chime Tripel, the white, 8%. Oh, excuse me. Do I like it? I do like it. Would I buy this again? I would. We look at the lace on that as well. Yeah, I would buy it again. Would I recommend it to friends? Yes, I would. It's really tasty. It's really nice. This is a little bit different from IPAs and, and doubles and triples and New England styles and pales. It's just a different, just a difference. And, I'm, and as I start to get into them. So, um, if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box. I'll put a link to the Chime website in the description box. Um, <coughs> if you like that video, let me know and subscribe down here. And I will see you in the next one. You know what to say, you know what I'm going to say, but I'm not. Hey, Leo.